Hi there. Hi. I'm Mert Izzeri from SwipeSense. Hi, Mert. Hi there, I'm Yuri Molina. Hi, Yuri. I'm Nathan Gold with the Demo Coach. Are you ready for your pitch? We're stoked. Let's go. I hail from San Francisco, California, where I spend my days and my nights working with entrepreneurs and executives all over the world to help them clearly and concisely get their message across to people they talk to. And go. Every year, hospital-acquired infections kill 100,000 patients in the United States. According to the CDC, the best way to prevent these infections is increasing hand hygiene among healthcare workers. That's exactly what we do at SwipeSense. SwipeSense is a portable, smart hand sanitizer for doctors and nurses. We use the convenience of a portable hand sanitizer along with the power of real-time data to increase hand hygiene in our hospitals. In the past three months alone, we've signed 10 contracts with the leading medical center in the United States. Our goal is to make SwipeSense the standard of care in every hospital across the country and make hospital-acquired infections a thing of the past. Thank you. Okay, great, let's go. Okay guys, so what can I say? That had to be one of the best I've ever seen. Stop it. <laughs> no, I'm serious? serious, I'm serious. You, you Mert, you were, you were lit up like a Christmas tree. Your face was communicating 95% of the message. Thank and, you. <laughs> and that's one of the things that most speakers don't do. They forget their face is a big part of the message. Your voice is too, which you did really well too. You have a great voice for this type of presentation, but it's not just your voice, it's how you used your voice. You emphasized words and, and, and really communicated the passion for what you're doing with the words, whereas a lot of people just try to get the words out. With the additional 12 seconds you have though, you need to add something there. You need to add something emotional. If there was one thing that I'd like to see you do is just take those 12 seconds, extra 12 seconds you had, and stick something in right after that opening salvo of the 100,000 whatever it was people die every year. Take five, six, seven seconds to, to help me understand what that means, what that could mean to me or my family mm. or the person listening. Make it about you. So not just a statistic. No, exactly. Not just a Make it a personal statistic. That's really well done. Well done. Thank you so Good much. Good luck. Now you have one <laughs> hour, you, one hour to refurbish and restructure, and then we'll see you in about an hour back that, in the elevator. Put that personal part back in. Yeah, that shouldn't be too long. If it, like, twelve, you said you got 12 seconds. 12 seconds is like one sentence. It's not like... Yeah, it's like, eight it's, words. It, it, it also insinuates that he passed away, but, but he yeah, did. Yeah, that's true. Because his patients die, yeah. kill over. <laughs> Diagnose isn't as hammered yeah, home as kill. So well, let's write that down. That's one option. Let's not forget that. So who received a, who had a preventable infection shortly after his heart attack? Sure. All right. I think we're good. I think that's it, man. <laughs> nice. Okay, guys. So you've had an hour. You ready? Yep. Let's well, let, go. Let's go see what it sounds like. Okay. Okay. Every year, hospital-acquired infections kill 100,000 patients in the United States. These are real people with families and loved ones whose lives are unnecessarily cut short. According to the CDC, the best way to prevent these infections is to increase hand hygiene amongst healthcare workers. At SwipeSense, that's exactly what we do. SwipeSense is a smart, portable hand sanitizer for doctors and nurses. We use the convenience of a portable dispenser and the power of real-time data to improve hand hygiene in our hospitals. In the past three months alone, we've signed contracts with 10 leading medical centers in the United States. Our goal is to make SwipeSense the standard of care in every hospital across the country and make hospital-acquired infections a thing of the past. Thank you very much. Okay, great, let's go. The first elevator pitch that Merck did, I thought was amazing. It, it blew me away. I've seen thousands of elevator pitches, and to me, his was one of the top two or three I have ever, ever seen, truthfully. Now, when it came to tweaking his message a little bit and getting his emotional appeal into his opening to make it even more compelling appeal to the audience, 
He dropped his enthusiasm and his facial expressions went away for just that part of the presentation. We only gave him an hour, and if he just rehearses it a whole bunch more, that emotional appeal will be as, as, as strong in that sentence as it would, was in the rest of his presentation.